And me, Cookie Monster. And all of our friends from Sesame Street are here to do the Wired Autocomplete interview. Yeah, remember <laughs> we did this before. I do not like the idea of people searching things about me. We are just answering questions from the internet? Then why did I dress up? This is a rental, you know. What is Sesame Street known for? <laughs> That's easy. <gasps> Magic. Zippity-zap. Cookies. Cute and adorable monsters, of course. Oh, did Grover say that about Elmo? Oh, Grover's so nice. You know, he's pretty cute, too. Wait, what? Singing, friendship, learning, and playing together. Oh, yeah. And yuck! Where did Sesame Street get its name? You see, I was walking down the street one day eating a sesame bagel when it dawned on me. Bagel Street. No, 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 wait. Uh, sesame Street! Yeah! <laughs> Thank goodness I was not eating a pumpernickel loaf. It called Sesame Street because Snickerdoodle Street was too long. Didn't fit on the sign. Is it too late to call it Snickerdoodle Street? Like the magical phrase, open Sesame. Sesame Street is a place where anything can happen. Where is Sesame Street at? At? Wait, where is Sesame Street at? Did we move? Why did no one tell me we moved? How am I supposed to get back home? Where is Sesame Street? Well, Sesame Street's just where Sesame Street is. <laughs> That's a difficult question. It's a place where kids who want to learn and play with monsters and fairies and birds and crouches can come. Come on by. At the intersection of Scram and get lost. What's the next one? What is a Sesame Street lesson? Oh, that's easy. A, B, C's, one, two, threes. Oh, that's two lessons. <gasps> two. Ha, there you go. Numbers. Oh, well, you know. You know the letter C? Well, it turns out C is for cookie. That's a terrific lesson. That it's okay to be grouchy sometimes. Or all the time. <laughs> to show love to one another. You know, treat others the way you would like to be treated. That's very important. Where is Sesame Street Elmo? You're looking at him. Where isn't Sesame Street Elmo? He everywhere. He there, he there, he there, he there, he there. You never know. Miss Justine? Hi, Miss Justine. Elmo. Hi. Would you mind when you peel the question, can you read it for Elmo? Because, well, Elmo can't read yet. Sure, no problem. Thank you. Go for it. What are Elmo's friends' names? Oh, um, well, let's see. Elmo has a lot of friends. <laughs> so there's Abby and Cookie Monster and Big Bird and, and, and Felix and that? Bert and Ernie and... Grover, Gong, the Chewy, the Master, Baby Bear, Guy, Smiley, Dime, Music, Lefty, Harvey, Knee Slapper. Is that it? Oh, I'm almost afraid he left somebody out. Um, well, they'll be okay. <laughs> Let's see what the next one is, Miss Justine. What is Elmo mm -hmm. scared of? Oh, what is Elmo scared of? Well, sometimes Elmo gets scared of the dark. That's why Elmo has a robot nightlight. Anytime Elmo feels scared or, or nervous or has any big feelings, Elmo's friends taught him to do belly breathing. Look at this. <sighs> yeah, it always helps Elmo feel really relaxed and calm. Oh, Elmo's so calm now. What's Elmo's goldfish name? Oh, Elmo's goldfish is named Dorothy. Yeah, she's the best, sweetest goldfish a monster could ask for. You know, Elmo fed her this morning. Yeah, as she went, glub, glub, glub. Glub, 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 which means thank you and hello. What's Elmo's favorite song? Ooh, favorite song? That's really difficult because we sing so many wonderful songs on Sesame Street. But Elmo would have to say his favorite song is, wait for it, it's going to shock you. You have no idea this is coming. Ready? Elmo's song. <laughs> la, 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 Elmo's song. You know what Elmo loves about it? You could put anybody's name in there. Like Justine, we could do la 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 la, la 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 la, Justine song. It's adaptable. Okay, Justine, what's the next one? How many fingers does Elmo have? Does the thumb count? I count it. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four fingers. High four. High four. Yeah. How did Elmo mm -hmm. get his name? Well, Elmo got his name from his mommy and daddy. They told Elmo that his name means love. And Elmo loves 
that? So Elmo guesses that Elmo, Elmo's that. Is Elmo a monster? Oh, well, of course Elmo's a monster. Look, see, Elmo has red monster fur. Everybody knows that Elmo's a monster. Elmo! Huh? I just heard you're a monster? Huh? Oh, congratulations! Well, almost everybody knows. <laughs> Come on. What? I want to show everybody else that you're a monster. Well, then. Does Elmo have a New York accent? Well, Elmo doesn't think so. Elmo just kind of sounds like Elmo. Elmo doesn't think it's a New York accent. That would be like, um, hey, Elmo's walking here. Let Elmo get a slice of pizza. Coffee light and sweet. That's not how Elmo sounds. Does Elmo love me? Oh, of course. Elmo loves you. Oh, and Elmo loves you too, Miss Justine. Come down here for a hug. Ah. Elmo can't say Elmo loves you without a hug. <laughs> She has a face. Isn't that amazing? That's just in. Oh, what does Cookie Monster actually ear? What what that word? Ear? What Cookie Monster actually ear? Oh, eat! Oh, well, actually, uh, cookies and uh, pretty much everything else. Yeah, and you know it not have to be food. Me once ate a truck. Me not picky eater. Next question, nicely pulled. What is Cookie Monster's job? Oh, me a uh, professional monster. Oh, me also work on foodie truck. Yet a side gig. Oh no, oh. Now me never gonna know question. Maybe me could help. Do? Do. Yeah, what does Cookie do Monster do? like to do? Well, me got a little bit of tape on me. Thank you. Oh, well, you know, me well-rounded monster. Yeah, most people think that all me do is eat cookies. But no, me like to uh, read books about cookies, paint picture of cookie, or say poem about cookie. Not all about eating cookies. Who's Cookie Monsters? What is it? Oh, best friend. Uh, Who's your best friend? Oh, yeah. well, yeah, well, it, it could be Abby. We have, we have so many for Elmo, Grover, Justine, Justine in the running. Uh, oh boy, um, it, uh, uh, you know what? They all me best friends. What Cookie Monster taught us about self-control? Oh boy, we're going deep now. Ah, oh, yes, me do struggle with um, self-control issues, yes, but um, me have uh, strategies that me like to use. You know, like me could uh, see a cookie there and instead of just going after it, me could sing a song or uh, me could take a deep breath or, you know, hug myself. That all ways to help uh, with self-control or delayed gratification as we say it in the business. Does Cookie Monster have a family? Of course me have family. Yeah, me got a, a mommy and daddy. Oh, and me got Cookie Niece. Yeah, me get to babysit and, you know, make cookies together. Yeah, me love me family. Maybe you could come over for a family reunion. I would love to. You in? Is Abby Kadabi? Am I? A fairy. What? Am I a fairy? Come on, the wings. <laughs> the magic wand. Plus, oh my goodness, my love for animals and nature and art and music. Well, I'm a 100% fairy. What does Abby Kadabi like to do? I like to play with my friends. And, um, oh, I like making up silly stories about hedgehogs. And grow pumpkins in my garden and visit my fairy tale friends. And I love making glitter jars. <laughs> See that? You just shake it up when you have big feelings. And then you watch the glitter swirl around. And as it settles down, it calms your body down. I love glitter jars. What is Abby Kadabi known for? Probably my magic. Yeah, I do a lot of magic. And my great singing skills. La 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 la. Who is Abby Kadabi's best friend? Ah, that's easy. All my friends are the best. Is Grover from Sesame Street? A cat. A cat? Why would anyone think that? Do people not know that I am a monster? Oh, look at that cute little kitty what? cat. Oh, you're, not... oh, you're so cute. Oh. Look at you. You know what? This your feels name, so good. Your name Whiskers? I'm just going to play along with it. Oh. 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 Cute as a <laughs>
Yeah. Can Grover from Sesame Street, I bet that says street, jump rope? Can a fish play the fiddle? Can an egg tap dance? Yes, of course I can jump rope. Imagine a rope, if you will. Ah, ah. See, look at me jump this imaginary rope. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Oh, the imaginary rope made me realistically fall. Does Grover from Sesame Street have toes? Uh, well, let us see. Let us find out, shall we, together? Uh, all right, uh, yeah, looks like I have toes on this foot. I have toes on this foot as well. Yes, indeed, Grover does have toes. Whoa! Uh, just need a leg to stand on, I guess. <laughs> does Grover from Sesame Street play? Oh, well, I love to play games, yes, all kinds of games. I, oh, instruments. <laughs> well, I love to play instruments as well. Yeah, I can play them all. <laughs> yeah, just not very well. <laughs> Keep it up, I'm loving this. Okay, Miss Justine, let's see, what's the next question? What breed of dog is Tango from Sesame Street? Tango is, is Brave like a, like a beagle. Yeah. Oh, and smart like a terrier. And very fluffy like a poodle. <laughs> Emma thinks that Tango is also part cookie monster because she loves to eat. Can Tango from Sesame Street fly? Can Tango fly? <laughs> no. Why Tango from Sesame Street with Elmo? Tango. You know when Elmo takes care of Tango and, and plays with Tango? <laughs> There's no better pair than a monster and his doggy. <laughs> Can Tango from Sesame Street dance? Ooh. Let's see. Dance, Tango! Oh, yes. So I'm supposed to answer these questions, huh? These right here? Alright. What in Oscar the Grouch trash can? First of all, I just have to say I love this grammar. What's in my trash can? I got lots of stuff. Yeah, it's pretty messy. <laughs> I got trash, of course. Then there's uh, a swimming pool for my pet elephant Fluffy, an old bowling alley, a piano, and that's just my first floor. Why is Oscar the Grouch so grumpy? Now this is a good question. Simple. Because I'm a grouch. It's in my nature. Now, can we get to the next question? How long do I have to sit here for, huh? How did Oscar the Grouch turn green? Well, it is true. I used to be orange. Then I went on vacation to Swamp Mushy Muddy. There was so much muck and green moss there. When I came back, I looked like this. A nice hue of muck. What makes Oscar the Grouch happy? Happy? But why are you searching for that, huh? On principle, us grouches try to be in a constant state of unhappiness. I will say, though, my head does perk up at the smell of trash in the morning. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, wasn't it, Cookie? <laughs> Wait, we done? Yeah, it's all over. <laughs> well, me guess we don't need this anymore. What? Um, 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 oh, um, 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 no, thank you. Okay. Um, nom, 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 nom,